Today I'm going to show you how to pose for a photo so that you look good and you don't feel embarrassed. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. Today I'm really excited because we have a special guest who's going to teach you and I how to take a really good photo and not get so embarrassed that everybody's looking. And if you're like me, you're brought up to not show off, not pose, not do anything like that. That was made really, really wrong for me. So when we used to take photos back in the day when I was 18 and a young woman, we'd stand there like this or our wedding photos were like this. <laughs> there was no posing and none of that. But today everything's changed and everyone out there is taking really great photos. So I'm excited, let's get started. This is Andressa everyone and she's going to give us so many points. You're gonna get amazing photos. Let's get started. Hello fabulous ladies. So today I'm gonna to give you a few tips to take a photo and it look like a model. So I did the photo shoot with Shell and then she's gonna share with you guys later the photos. They're very nice by the way. <laughs> so we are showing what the photo looks like if you take in a very like stiff, rigid, no shape way. If you create that movement and the flowing and give a little bit of shape how it can look like. So we're gonna show that to you today. We're sharing a mic. So. <laughs> Andressa, can you go through what you taught me with the move, move, move and what you think about while you're standing there? Because I get embarrassed and the ladies might get embarrassed too. So explain that to us. Yeah, you can feel a little bit awkward and all that when you were taking the photos. Uh, so some tips that I've learned is that it's really good if you always keep you on tiptoe. Uh, because they create a little bit of shape in your body, like bring you forward and automatically it fix your posture as well. So while you're taking a photo, it's really important that you are always moving. So you create that movement, that flow in the photos and then you have fun. So you want to show that you are really comfortable in what you're wearing and you are always moving. So what I say to show is to keep posing. <laughs> so you kind of like pose and play with the fabric and then you pose and then you smile and then you pose and try to create different shapes and that will bring like life to the photo. So we're creating different shapes with our arms, with the arms, legs, our legs. the fabric you can use as well. Yep. So if fabric. you're wearing like a maxi dress for example, the maxi dress can be really like straight and sometimes you can't really have any draw in your body or like any shape, you can see the shape of your body properly. So if you maybe go on your tiptoe and then you bring your leg forward and then you put your hand on the side and then you kind of like, you're creating the shape of hourglass a little bit more. Or if you bring your leg to the side and then you use your other hand, so you, you're creating shape. See, I get embarrassed doing this and I'm doing it in front of all these people. <laughs> It's a little bit awkward at the beginning. Yeah, and it does make for a really yes. good photo. Here are a few things that you can practice. So let's say that you have a very nice makeup and then you want to bring attention to your face. It's nice if you bring your hand in because then you create the attention. <laughs> <laughs> so you just bring it in the hand and then you have to try to keep your lips really soft. Then you can just say the letter P. So you just go Puh, but like in French. <laughs> now you can start noticing when you see photos, um, they always have this puh face. <laughs> you can practice in the mirror, like it's something that I used to do. Yes, yep. So then you can see how it looks like. So another tip that you can use as well, if you are taking a group photo, is always try to stay in the middle. Everybody fights for the middle, by the way. <laughs> you know? I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> but they fight for the middle. And they fight for the middle. So if you already know that, that's great. great. So that's if you are the end, try to always bring your arm out. So you avoid your arm to look fat. Even if it's not fat, because you, you are the end and you bring it close to your body, it can look bigger and at the camera. <laughs> yeah, so try to always bring it out and then like a little bit far from your body. So you always keep like... You know, 
like a motto. <laughs> this is Yeah, what? no. Always try to create shape. Always try to like play around. So play with your hair, bring to the face, <laughs> bring to the waist, bring shapes with you. Uh, so you're always creating movement. Like you basically click pose. So pose, pose, pose. The thing I noticed when Andressa was teaching me is that I felt like weird and nervous you know moving all the time but when the photographer or my husband was taking photos he just kept clicking click 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 and then we got some really great photos but not all of them were and I'm stiff as well because I'm not used to it but watching Andressa just move different and when you're practicing it just have that in mind. You just move next, next, next. Like I think to keep in mind is that it's 300 photos to 10 look good. So don't worry if you take photos and you don't find them amazing. We always take like, I have 300 photos and I pick one. <laughs> and that's what matters. Like you only want yeah. one anyway. So yeah. play with the environment as well. Let's say that we have a tree here close by so like touch the free so you interacting with the environment let's say that is a tree here and I'm just standing it's like I'm uncomfortable but if I'm interacting with the tree then I'm like comfortable in the environment yeah. comfortable with what I'm wearing and that makes such a difference when you sit through the camera always keep it in your tiptoe if you want to look longer in a photo and ask the person who's taking the photo to bring the camera a little bit lower so it makes you really long, makes you look like those models that are doing like a campaign in a bikini. <laughs> and they look really long and you go like this so tall and try to slightly backwards. So you create that look. And when the person's taking the photo, you make you look really tall and long legs. Yeah, so just slightly. Just slightly. So it's, you know, he and you know he, but you just yeah. kind of like... <laughs> So that's pretty much it and they will make you have longer legs. And when we look at all of the beautiful photos, just know that like Andressa said, they might have taken 300 photos to get that perfect one. So we can do that too <laughs> if we feel like it. If not, don't even worry about it. I really hope these tips helped you and if you're like me and totally embarrassed by taking photos, give it a try. And if they work for you and you're really happy with them, send me a text and show me your photo. I would love to see it. Yeah, well. we would love to see it. <laughs> Thank you so much to Andressa Thank for, you for teaching us. Thank you for amazing channel. <laughs> and please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your awkward friends. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.